surprised to find you down here. Why? Because Carlton said you were here. <laughs> it kind of shakes your face. Right. <laughs> what place is me? Can I play down here? Well, okay. But just for a few minutes. I'm almost finished. Brenda, yeah. I was wondering if you could stay with Donnie again this evening. Oh, gee, well, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I can't. Oh. Or maybe you can get Ma. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, she's been dying to come over and sit with Donnie. She said she wants to keep in practice in case she ever has a real grandchild. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing, last week at Aunt Rose's, I caught her burping the dog. <laughs> Hi. So this is the laundry room. Yeah, welcome to Lint City. <laughs> Sir, the quarter. Last time I did a wash, cost a nickel. A nickel? How long ago was that? About 20 years. <laughs> no wonder you've got such a big load. <laughs> Actually, my cleaning woman quit on me. Uh, we had a cleaning woman once. Yeah, her name was Ma. <laughs> By the way, I'm Maggie Cummings. My husband and I just moved here from Chicago. We're at 7C. Oh, oh, I'm Rhoda Gerard. My husband, Joe, and I are in 9E. This is my sister, Brenda. I'm in 2E. Sounds like we all live in shoes. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Maggie. But I've got to go now. Oh, this sure is more confusing than it used to be. It was a lot simpler when we just took it down to the river and beat it on the rocks. <laughs> so you're not using that, are you? That stuff's no good. Use what I use. <laughs> Trouble-free glee. Yeah, it gets everything clean, makes your wash smell very fresh. Does it really? Yeah. Yeah, it even works on my husband's grimy work clothes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are there any hidden cameras here? Did you just listen to us? That's exactly what we sounded like. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't you just hate those commercials? I mean, don't they make you sick? Well, no, not really. I make a whole pot full of dough writing them. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I you need really... to... No, don't be. <laughs> you get used to that when you work in advertising. Besides, I just love it. How many people get to know Mr. Clean on a first name basis? <laughs> By the way, it's Norman. <laughs> How long have you been writing commercials, Maggie? Can you remember when there were no deodorants? <laughs> sure, yesterday on the subway. <laughs> uh, I guess I've been writing commercials all my married life. Gee, I'd like Joe to meet you. Yeah, see, I work too. And I figure it's always good for him to, to, to see that a woman can have a marriage and a career at the same time. Oh, sure. It's never been a problem for me. Of course, Ted's a lot more understanding about that than my other husbands were. <laughs> see, I realize we just met each other, but a client of mine is opening a new cafe tonight, a big restaurant. It's called the Garden Court, and he's throwing an opening night party to celebrate. wonder, would you and your husband like to come along with us? Gee, that sounds great. Yeah, I mean, Joe and I were going out to dinner tonight anyway. Terrific. I'll pick you up around seven. Great. Yeah. Well, all finished. Donnie? Donnie, where are you? Coming. That's my husband's little boy. Oh. Yeah. Look what I found behind the furnace. There's a whole bunch of them. I think he's just located Carlton's wine cellar. <laughs> Yes, Carlton? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. <laughs> I was just wondering if there's any little extra jobs I could do for you to raise some money. Like what, Carlton? I don't know, like opening the door. Uh, Carlton, what's behind this sudden burst of industry? Well, me and my brother are driving to California to see the points of interest, you know, Napa, Sonoma, Mendocino. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hear that the Italian Swiss colony is lovely this time of year, too. Oh, I don't know if we'll drive as far as Europe. <laughs> Ciao, Carlton. Rhoda, you forgot to pick up my good suit from the cleaners. Well, it's your suit. You could have picked it up, you know. Why would I have picked it up? I didn't know we were going to have to go out to dinner tonight with people I don't even know. Oh, come on, Joe. Listen, we were going out to dinner anyway. This way, it's going to cost us nothing. Well, how'd you know I wanted to go for nothing? Maybe I wanted to pay for my dinner. All right, all right. If it makes you feel better, I'm sure they'll let you pay. 
Oh, fine, Rhoda. Nice people. First they invite us out to dinner, and then they make us pay. Oh, come on. Hi, dear. Hi, Ma. I just bought a few things I thought would amuse Donnie tonight. Yeah, you got enough stuff there to amuse Boys Town. Yeah. Where's Pop? I thought he was coming with you tonight. Yeah, he's parked in the car. Oh, okay. Hi, Mrs. Morgan Stewart. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what did I tell you to call me? Hi, Nani? Nani. Of course. <laughs> Nani and Donnie, loved your latest hit record. <laughs> I hate this suit. You stick a wallet in the pocket and it bulges. The thing doesn't fit. It wrinkles. I hate it. I just hate it. Listen, is there something the matter between you two? No, no, no. We're fine. Joe's having a fight with his suit. <laughs> Hi, Ida. Listen, Hi. I really appreciate your coming over and sitting with Donnie tonight. That's okay. Even if I am forced to go out with the people I am going out Please with. Stop. Uh, Donnie, go wash your hands. I just took a bath. Did you wash your hands? No. <laughs> Joe? My hands are all clean. Oh, jokes. Come on over here and sit down. Now listen, don't fight over little things. Save it for the big stuff. Like what? Well, I don't know. Another man, another woman. What you're gonna get me for my birthday? <laughs> Joe, I know the score. You wouldn't believe it, but Martin and I have had our spats. I could tell you stories that would curl your hair. Even more. <laughs> I remember one time we were going to Grandmother Morgan's thing. Anyway, I, uh, what? I'll go. And you'll have a good time. And I'll have a good time. Good. Hope you were taking notes, little lady. <laughs> Do you know in her family she's considered the shy one? <laughs> oh, you're here. Joe, are you okay now? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Hi, I'm here. Hi. I'm here. And you must be Joe. And you must be Maggie. And you must be Rob. <laughs> you must be Ted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Ma. Ma, we're just about to leave. Uh, Maggie and, uh, and Ted Cummings. This is my mother, Ryder Morgenstern. And that's the Donnie. That's Joe's son. So you are the Cummings. Well, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> if everybody's ready, let's just go, huh? Shall Bye. We go, huh? Oh, starved. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. everybody's still here. Oh. I thought you left. Hiya, Pop. Pop, this is Ted Maggie Cummings, my oh. father. Mr. Cummings. Mr. Morgan's Hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. Nice hey, nice Pop, I'm sorry we got to run like this. Oh, honey, that's all right. I would have come sooner, but uh, I had to get a cab for my parking space. <laughs> 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 have a good time. Thank huh? you. Yeah. Bye, Martin. Bye, Joe. Bye, Martin. Bye, Joe. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll take good care of him. Hey, killer. Come on, give me a hug here. <laughs> Martin, those people. What people? The Cummings? Yeah. Did they look strange to you? <laughs> no, they look fine. Why? What did they look like to you? Us. <laughs> Us? Ida, what are you getting at? How could Rhoda have any interest in an old couple like that? I mean, she never goes out with us. Hey, you know something? I think you're jealous because Rhoda's going out with a couple our age. Oh, that's ridiculous. We go out with couples our age all the time. <laughs> but, I mean, why would Joe and Rhoda have any fun with them? Well, you're old and I have fun with you. That's different. Everybody has fun with me. <laughs> sitting there in the singles bar and he says to me well if you had no intention of going away with me for the weekend why'd you let me buy you a drink <laughs> i can't blame the guy for getting huffy brenda i mean if you gotta figure he had a buck buck 50 invested in you <laughs> can i ask a dumb question what does a girl tell her mother nowadays when she wants to go away with a man for the weekend search me <laughs> i had a good one listen to this Ma, I volunteered to answer phones all weekend for the Jerry Lewis Telethon. Oh. <laughs> of course, that only worked for once a year. Oh. <laughs> Which was more than enough. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Hi, what's so funny? Oh, nothing. <laughs> well, no, no, Ma, really, it was just girl talk. Well, I'm a girl. <laughs> Ma, Ma, wasn't that funny? 
Okay, well, you just go on having fun and I'll stand over here and watch. <laughs> uh, come here. Come on, come with me. I want you to taste something. It's Maggie's cheesecake. I want you to give it a try. You will die. I do not want to die. <laughs> It happens to be the one dessert that I can make well. I can make Napoleons. <laughs> so, what did you girls do today? Well, Maggie and I were out shopping. We were looking for something to put over my sofa. Oh, well, plastic is always good. <laughs> uh, she means on the wall. Yeah, we found this wonderful painting that I just love. Well, you buy it for you. I just don't like modern art. Well, what about a golden sunburst clock, like I have over my mantle? Gee, Ma, I don't know. With inflation, a clock like that probably goes for 10, 12 books of stamps by now. <laughs> well, I hate to break this up, but I got to get down to my gym. I haven't lost any weight yet, but I can press 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait for me, Mag. I'll share an elevator. Good. Hey. You want to go shopping again Saturday? Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect. I'll pick you up around 10 and we can have some lunch maybe and make a day of it, huh? Sure, then after lunch we can waddle over to your gym. <laughs> yes. You two better watch out. You might start to be getting sick of each other. Sick of each other, Russ? Not a chance. Uh, we're as tight as they come. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I may use that in my next girdle commercial. <laughs> Bye, you two. Ah, caught ya. I was, uh, just looking at the pattern of your fork. <laughs> so, Ma, tell me, what do you think about Maggie? Isn't she just terrific? Well, you can tell a lot about a woman from her cheesecake. <laughs> oh, why not? I heard of people reading tea leaves. What about her cheesecake? Eh. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, Rhoda, I don't mind. It was a comfort for me to find out that two cannot live as cheaply as one. <laughs> Wait a second, I'll separate our stuff here. See, potato chips are mine. Cupcakes, mine. Pancake mix, mine. Frozen pizzas, mine. Have you heard from Ma lately? Yeah, why? Jelly donuts, mine. <laughs> Thank you. Diet soda, mine. Oh, I'm glad to see you're watching your weight. When you eat this kind of junk, you have to. <laughs> you know, Ma hasn't called me for over a week, Brenda. I think I'm supposed to be feeling guilty about something. Well, Rhoda, I wasn't going to say anything, but I think Ma's jealous. Jealous? Yeah. Jealous of what? Of Maggie and you. She sees you out having fun with someone who could be her, only it's not. No. Yeah? yeah. But what, what can I do? Tell Maggie my mother doesn't want me to play with you anymore? <laughs> oh, bro, I uh, picked up the mail on the way up, too. It's all mixed up, though. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this is mine. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what this invitation is. Look, Grand. picture of a little cowboy on the front. Mm. Howdy, partners. We're rounding up all our pals, the handsomest cowpokes and cutest cow gals. For drinks and grub, don't be hesitating. 8 p.m. Wednesday, we'll be awaiting. <laughs> Ida and Martin Morgenstern. <laughs> you are kidding. Look for yourself. Ah, Ma and Pa Morgenstern, go west. <laughs> Look, Rhoda, there's something on the back here. Rhoda, dear, I know how very busy you are these days. <laughs> mm. Uh, but we were hoping you can squeeze us in. Mm. Imagine she sends a cute little card like that to deliver a threat. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if the mafia uses Hallmark, too. Mm. <laughs> well, I better call her and accept. I mean, I can just see her hovering over the phone. And she won't leave that house until it rings. Hello? First ring. Howdy, Ms. Morgenstern. This here's Rhoda Gerard. Me and my hubby would be plum tickled to come to your <laughs> Ma, what is that with the printed invitations? I mean, come on. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, they're coming too? That should be fun. Yeah, Joe and I'll be there Wednesday. Yeah, bye. 
something really big is up. Why? Because she's invited Maggie and Ted, too. Oh. Brenda, I wonder why she didn't invite you. Oh, well, wrote it. Sounds like just couples to me. Well, I'm sure you can go if you want to. Oh, no, no. If there was ever a time in my life I didn't want to be a couple, this is it. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Come on. with you, Ernie. You're not acting yourself. Oh, Martin. Don't you ever wonder about how interesting we are? I mean, what do we talk about? Like over dinner. What do we talk about? Well, we talk about how good the dinner is. We talk about what's good on TV that night. And some nights, we talk about whether we're really in the mood or if we just as soon go out for some ice cream. <laughs> Martin, we are boring. I'm boring. You're boring. I mean, look at you. You're not boring to me, and God knows I'm not boring to you. <laughs> but we're boring to our children. Our clothes are boring. The house is boring. Ida, the speech is boring. <laughs> oh, now listen, Martin, please, be interesting. Interesting? Interesting. I'm wearing high karate. What do you want me to do? Good evening. Good evening. Hello. 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 Time no see. <laughs> Gee, you look sensational tonight, Ro. Oh, oh, thank you. So do you, Ide. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's this? Oh, it's just a little bottle of wine, Ida. Oh, good. He knows I love fine wines. Put this with the rest of them, will you, Oz? Oh, look, honey, I first round one. <laughs> <laughs> It was lovely of you to invite us, Mrs. Morganstern. Oh, please, it's Ida and Martin. Oh, I know. It's always been hard for me to call my, my friend's parents by their first names. <laughs> well, you can always call her Nani. She loves that. Mmm, <laughs> what do I smell? Ida, I didn't even have lunch today looking forward to one of your dinners. I hope it's your famous roast chicken. No, nope, not tonight. No roast chicken. It's squab. Good. Now we'll each have our own little roast chicken. <laughs> and you better save a place for dessert because, Rhoda, I have made a cheesecake that will kill you. <laughs> Rhoda, I've uh, been wanting to talk to you about uh, the U.S. involvement in Cambodia. <laughs> Ma, we're out of Cambodia. Oh, I know, but we never really discussed it. <laughs> well... <laughs> It's a nice place you've got here. I was saying to Maggie, all the times we've been to New York, and this is our first visit to the Bronx. Well, one doesn't often get the chance to seek out the quaint sections of a new town, does one? <laughs> one is speaking funny these days, isn't one? <laughs> uh, Joe, you haven't seen the new painting we bought for our collection. Ah, uh, yes. The rest of the collection is on loan to the Metropolitan Museum. <laughs> well, it's very nice. Uh, what do you call it? Yellow over brown. <laughs> I'm glad the artist named it that. It was a helpful hint when it came to hanging it. <laughs> Bro, uh, what do you think of it? Well, Ma, it's it really, it's pretty. Yeah, I just didn't know that you were... Uh, I don't know, that you like that sort of thing. Oh, yes, I'm very into his work. Who's it by? Uh, uh Vincent something. Powell? Yes. <laughs> yes, I've got one of his in my office. I like your taste, Ida. Well, thank you. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, uh, Martin, while we were getting ready, I was watching the Rangers game. Did you happen to catch that first period? No, I didn't see it. I was too busy hanging the collection. <laughs> <laughs> Sanderson got two goals and Jockerman made some spectacular saves. Really? I would love to have seen that. Listen, you ladies wouldn't mind if we went out to catch the rest of it, would you? Would you mind, Ida? Mind? Why should we mind? Of course not. Do your own thing. We hang loose here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I was thinking, let's go out. Yeah, I yeah. Something else, isn't it? Yeah. Well, here we are, just the three of us girls. I don't mind. I can't tell you what a wonderful time I have with Rhoda. Oh, mm. you too. Isn't she a blast? <laughs> <laughs> we've always been more chums than mother and daughter, and now that we've grown older, we're on a first-name basis. 
Yeah, she calls me Rhoda, I call her Ma. Well, what's going on here? Well, just three girlfriends rapping. <laughs> no, it's not three girlfriends. It's two girlfriends and a total stranger. Oh, well, we must make her feel welcome. <laughs> not Maggie, Ma, I'm talking about you. I don't know this hip person who, who, who cooks squab and uh, chats about uh, Cambodia. I mean, if I have a problem, I want to rap with some lady sipping a martini under a yellow and brown painting. I want to pour my heart out to my mother under the golden sunburst clock while I smell the brisket burning. <laughs> when did I ever burn a brisket? <laughs> Ma, burning brisket is not the issue. The point is, you're trying to be somebody that you're not. No, I'm not. Ida, could it be that you're jealous of my friendship with Rhoda? Oh, <laughs> jealous. Me jealous? You're damn right I'm jealous. <laughs> you know, Ida, you're crazy. Now your friend is picking on me. Why should you be jealous of me when, when you two get along so well? Get along? You call that getting along? Sure I do. I wish my daughter and I could fight like this and still be so close. You're very lucky. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe we we'll are that, huh? We sure are, Ma. You know, I can see a lot of you in Rhoda. You can? You can. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. I sure can, Ida. What's your secret? I don't push. <laughs> Open the door. Brenda? Oh, nice Hiya, son. How you oh, doing? Good time. <laughs> it's reassuring to know we left Brenda in good hands. Brenda? Brent. Oh. We're home, Brenda. Oh, wow, was I ever asleep. Well, the last thing I remember was someone saying, and now here's Tony Orlando end. <laughs> <laughs> so how was the dinner? Oh, everything's went really well. I got everything straight with Ma, yeah. So what'd you do tonight? Oh, Donnie and I had a good time, too. And yeah, we put away all his toys and cleaned out the refrigerator. Oh, Brenda, you didn't have to do that. Oh, my pleasure. And it was delicious. <laughs>